No, this title is not clickbait. I quit my job to be an influencer and I'm moving to the Gold Coast in 20 days. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back or welcome. If this is your first video of mine that you're watching, this is an interesting one <laughs> to click on for your first... I was going to say first viewing, that is so weird. But also a very relevant video because I'm about to give you guys a massive update on my life, which is perfect. So, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. I am finally filming the video where I talk about why I quit my job, what's been going on. This video has been a long time coming, okay? I know, I know. I should have filmed this months ago. I told you guys over on my Instagram, I'll put my Instagram handle on the screen if you're not following me. I think I just like let it slip. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not working anymore but I haven't sat down and explained it to you guys and I feel like not only do you deserve an explanation but I also want to explain to you guys what happened as well so it's a long time coming but we're finally here also Kel helped me like blow out my hair I don't have a blowout brush like a Dyson Airwrap Dyson if you're watching hook a girl up. I just have a flat iron, like a straightener, and I really wanted to try and blow it out. I tried to do it myself. It wasn't really working. Kel, who can do literally everything, came in and saved the day. Comment below if you like it. I think this might be my new go-to look. I'm so sick of wearing my extensions. I just want to embrace for short hair life. So a little bit of backstory. I moved back to Australia in March of last year. So I was living in Canada for two and a half years on an IAC visa. When I came back in March, I got a job at a travel company in June. My job was essentially customer service. And I want to say honestly about 99% of my job was rescheduling people's hotel bookings because of COVID, because of lockdowns. It was a mixture of phone calls and emails, but like predominantly phone calls. Also a lot of the time that I was at my job was during one of Melbourne's lockdowns so I do have a bunch of working from home vlogs which I am gonna keep up on my channel even though I'm not like working there anymore so I'll link them below if you guys want to check them out at all okay so I thought going into this job that it was perfect for me like I genuinely thought this was the perfect job even though I have phone anxiety like, come on, girl, you're going to work at basically a call center and you have phone anxiety. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just really passionate about travel and I've done a bunch of different customer service roles in my life. So I was like, travel, customer service, perfect. Like, this is perfect. Also, I could work from home, which was perfect for balancing social media and it gave me content to create as well. What I didn't think about is my mental health and my recent experiences around travel. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, Cal and I had a bit of a rough time getting back to Australia from Canada. I'm talking expired visas, flight caps, flights over 20k. What else have we got? Oh, hotel quarantine. <laughs> That's the whole thing. I documented the whole process of moving back and I have all those vlogs still up on my channel. So I'll link them below if you guys want to check them out. But basically I'd just gone through a pretty traumatizing if I'm being honest experience around travel and I was then moving into a job and position that was entirely dedicated to travel and not only entirely dedicated to travel but almost entirely dedicated to travel and COVID because predominantly my job was rescheduling people's bookings because of COVID. I'm moving their hotel bookings. I'm dealing with telling people that they can't stay at a certain hotel anymore because that hotel is now being used for hotel quarantine. So as you can imagine when things like these are happening, you're moving people's holidays, their hotels are being unable to be used, you're dealing with a lot of unhappy people. It got to the point where I was so anxious, like I couldn't sleep at night. Every time before I had to make a phone call, my hands were sweaty, my heart would be racing. I'd be genuinely having these mini panic attacks because I was so, I just couldn't handle dealing with these people and this situation. I basically just could not focus on anything other than the fact that I had to go to work and that I was gonna end up having these panic attacks. Like, I didn't even wanna film and edit. That's my passion, like that's what I love to do. It got literally to the point where I didn't even want to do things that normally make me happy. Or like doing those things just gave me more stress. Anything that went wrong ever, I could just drop 
like a t-shirt on the ground when I'm getting out of my wardrobe which happens like all the time <laughs> because there's too much stuff in there but that would just trigger me I would be having like a panic attack I would start freaking out it would throw off my whole entire day whereas normally when things like that happen I'll just be like oh whatever like pick it up move on basically I just was not in a good headspace and having to go to this environment was really causing that well I guess heightening things that I hadn't worked through yet but um, we'll get to that <laughs> so yeah this took a really big Big hit on my mental health and honestly did help me realize that I did have a lot to work through in regards to our recent experiences like getting back to Australia oh my god I literally remember anytime anyone brought up like Sofitel hotels like the chain of Sofitel I would get this pit in my stomach like that's the hotel that Kel and I did hotel quarantine at like it was just it was not good but on top of this I honestly just was not what the hell is that just I'm gonna ignore that. I just wasn't living the life that I wanted to live and that is something that I am so passionate about. And I just spent the last three years in Canada doing that, like living the life I wanted to live. So that is where the whole becoming an influencer social media aspect comes into it. So while I'm working at this travel company, I start making money off of my social media accounts. So I'm making money through AdSense, through collaborations. I wasn't making the same amount of money that I was making at the travel company like I wasn't matching my wage but I kind of knew that I could if that makes sense I feel like this is one of those things where unless you felt it before or you're feeling it it's just so hard to explain but I kind of knew that if I poured all of my energy and my heart into doing social media and really focusing on my AdSense focusing on collaborations just making that my full-time thing that I could make the same amount of money that I was making at the travel company maybe not straight away actually certainly <laughs> not straight away if I'm being honest but I just knew that I could like I knew that it would pay off but to be honest with you as much as I'm like yeah I knew it would pay off like I knew I could do it that doesn't mean that I action straight away like I didn't just wake up and go you know what I'm gonna do it like quit I'm out of here like I've got this it took me probably a few months if I'm being honest to actually quit to actually decide that I'm going to do social media full-time and quit the job and those couple of months were so fun <laughs> so fun literally every single day Cal and I would sit down and we would talk about everything we would write up budgets we would try and figure out what the best thing was I was so stressed because as much as I knew I wanted to do social media full-time I was just so worried that I was gonna be making the wrong decision I'm like what if I don't make money what if I hate it what if I end up just focusing so much on making money from it and making it my full-time job that I don't actually love doing it anymore just just a whole lot of fun what ifs but at the end of the day what it came down to was what is going to make me happy and being at that job was not making me happy period my mental health was the worst that it had ever been my relationships were struggling because I I couldn't even show up for myself let alone show up for anybody else so I spoke to the management team at my travel company like my team leader and explained what was going on originally what they did was they took me off phone calls because phone calls was the most triggering thing for me because every time I made a call or you know took a call there was that risk that I was gonna get yelled at that it was just gonna be a really bad call Call and then I just could not handle that so I went off of phone calls and just went on to emails and that definitely helped like just speaking to customers through written communication really helped but it still wasn't a good environment for me because even though I wasn't talking to them I still was talking to them and I still was in an environment that was travel that was about traveling during the pandemic you know what I mean so after I'd been on emails for Oh my god, I don't even remember. Maybe like two or three weeks. I spoke to the management team again and I was like, I need a break. Like, I, I need a break. Is it possible to take some time off for my mental health? And the management team was so nice. Like, throughout this whole process, like, there's honestly nothing bad I can really say about the company. It's just... 
I was in the wrong environment at the wrong time. Like I genuinely think I would have loved the job prior to COVID. But yeah, I spoke to the management team and they gave me three weeks off. They actually were so kind. Like they asked me how much time do you think you need? Like, what do you want to do? Like if you don't feel good after the set amount of time that you take, we can talk about you taking more time. But we negotiated three weeks. So I took three weeks off. I think my last day that I worked was maybe October 12th. 12. That's why I say this video is very long overdue because it is literally January 9th now. <laughs> so let's just say October 12th was my last day. I go on this three week break and I'm like, okay, my plan is I'll see if this time away helps. I'll see if, you know, I think I'm ready to go back. Like I didn't want to just quit and then the next day be like, like I really wish I didn't quit. You know, I'm like, I can just take some time for myself. I can focus on my relationships. I can focus on my mental health. I started going to therapy. I'm like, I can focus on, you know, pursuing social media, really giving that my all. And then at the end of the three weeks, I can decide whether I'm going to go back or whether I'm not going to go back. And at the end of the three weeks, I was like, I'm not gonna go back. It's just not the right thing for me. I also have to add, I think I forgot to add this in here. There's so many parts of this story i guess you would call it and i'm so worried that i'm gonna miss things because if i miss things things don't make sense but while i'm working at the travel company right and i'm starting to do these collaborations i was also finding it hard to balance my time between the two i kind of felt like i was being presented with more opportunities in regards to social media than i could actually balance with my full-time job so when i was in the three weeks and i was deciding whether i wanted to go back that also played a part because i was like okay when i'm working full-time and doing collaborations i'm not matching my full-time travel company wage but I also don't think I'm mentally in a good enough place to have the time to match it while doing that like if I left and just did social media full-time I kind of knew that I'd be able to build that up and focus on those opportunities and match that wage I really hope that makes sense I feel like it didn't and that's when I decided I'm going to do social media full-time I just want to mention as well I am so privilege to be able to do this like not every single person can just quit their job when they're unhappy in it or when their mental health is struggling like I am so aware of my privilege and I'm so <laughs> blessed and grateful to be able to do this there's definitely been times in my life when I couldn't have done this like I could not have done this like two or three years ago so yeah I'm so aware that this is not something that like everyone can just do like I'm so privilege to be able to do this. So going back to earlier when I mentioned I was not wanting to film and not wanting to edit and they're like the things that used to make me happy. Two of the main reasons why I started YouTube and started like taking social media seriously were to one, document my life and have these memories to look back at and two, was to inspire other people to live the life they want to live. And while I was working at the travel company I felt like I wasn't living the life I wanted to live and because I wasn't living the life I wanted to live I was like how the f can I inspire people to live the life they want to live like how am I gonna preach living the life you want to live if I'm not even doing that myself and I think it hurt more as well because I was previously living the life that I wanted to live I was living that life in Canada I kind of felt a bit like I was back at square one like I was back at the spot I was before I'd moved to Canada. So here is where moving to the Gold Coast comes into it. Oh my god, it feels so weird even saying that out loud. Like I've known for a few months now that I was going to do this and like I haven't told you guys and every single time I pick up the camera I just wanted to tell you. <laughs> like oh my god, it feels like a weight off my chest just saying it out loud. But while it has been great pursuing social media in Melbourne, like I absolutely love it. One of I guess the aspects of living the life that I want to live is living in different places, exploring new places. So me and one of my YouTube friends, I reckon you guys will know but comment below who you think. <laughs> but me and one of my YouTube friends are relocating to the Gold Coast, COVID permitting, obviously COVID permitting. Fingers crossed it'll all be okay. That's also why I was scared to tell you guys too because I'm like what if I have this massive announcement and I'm like I'm moving to the Gold Coast and then the next day something happens happens with COVID and I can't go. Anyway, anyway, touch. Oh my god, there's no wood. What the hell? My whole house is like white and wood. Why is there nothing wood around me? One sec. 
that's one anyway we are going for the month of february i'm literally so excited kel is going to be staying here in melbourne in this apartment i'm honestly going to miss him so much i think the most amount of time that we've had apart in the nearly five years we've been together is five days <laughs> So it's definitely gonna be a bit of an adjustment. I'm gonna miss him so much, but I'm also so excited to do something by myself and regain a bit more independence. So yeah, obviously this is all COVID permitting, but I am moving to the Gold Coast at the end of this month. It just feels so weird <laughs> to say out loud. I think I might do a Q&A video on moving to the Gold Coast. Let me know below if you guys want that video because I'd definitely be more than happy to make it. Like if you guys have questions, let me know. But oh my God, I'm so excited. Like, oh, like pack with me vlogs, the vlog getting on the plane, like seeing the new place for the first time. Vlogs like days on the beach, like, Anyway, that is why I left my job. My mental health was at an all-time low. I'm still working on that, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. But I've definitely been doing significantly better not being in that environment. And I just want to say as well, like, if you're in an environment that is negatively affecting your mental health, please try and get out of it. I know it's, like, easier said than done. But please get out of it if you can and if you can't make a plan to if you are struggling to make a plan or don't really know where to start or anything like that please feel free to dm me because like i want to help you like let's make you a plan like let's get you out of that toxic environment but yeah i just want to get back to living the life that i want to live i really want to embrace opportunities like this opportunity kind of presented itself and i didn't want to take it for granted like i don't know if i'll do social media full-time my whole life like maybe i'll go study maybe i'll move overseas maybe i'll get a different full-time job in like six months who knows but this opportunity arose in my life at this time and i have to take full advantage of it like this is my dream and i also couldn't do it without you guys like this is literally all because of you guys and i am so <laughs> so grateful so blessed like thank you so much for caring like literally caring about my life and following along i just Oh my god it still feels so surreal like anytime anyone asks me what i do and i'm like i'm a youtuber like it feels like it feels good obviously that's my dream but it feels so weird because it's been such a dream for so long also this piece of hair man like what what if you know how to blow out your hair with a hair straightener really well can you please comment below or like dm me a link to a youtube video because i think cal did a pretty good job uh but some bits definitely could use a bit of help. My camera just stopped recording. It came up with this error or message that said it had reached the maximum recording time. Like what? There's a maximum recording time? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been filming for over 30 minutes though. So maybe it's a sign to stop. You know what I mean? Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for caring about me, for watching this video. None of this would be possible without you. Like literally none of it. So thank you so much. If you're new here and you've watched this far and you haven't subscribed, or if you've just watched this far and you haven't subscribed I mean like you should probably subscribe because we're basically best friends at this point also don't forget to like this video you know give it a little thumbs up that was so lame I hate that so much I hate the way that I won't edit it out though like I'll have to keep it in like I have to call myself out for saying that but I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why?